Welcome back. In the previous video, we understood conceptually what is data accuracy and how do we validate the accuracy of the data? What is accuracy of the data? Correctness of the data. There we understood there are two types of accuracy. One is non-numerical type. The second one is domain analysis. Let us look at the hands-on examples for these types. I have logged into MySQL. I am getting into validations database. Let's check the tables. I do have some tables. Let me go ahead and create the table to understand the accuracy of the data. I created a table called customer underscore source. I am loading the table with the data. I did that. So let us look at the contents of this table. This is the table what we have. We have order ID, customer name, phone number, food ID, email ID, food name, food cost, service type, and rating. Let me go ahead and create the target table here. Target table is DWH customer underscore R and load the data into this. I created a table called DWH customer underscore R and loaded the data into this. And I'm creating one more table where I have purposefully introduced some of the errors. Let us load the data into this table. So when you say accuracy, that is the correctness of the data. Whether the data is correct or not in the source table, in the target table. Let us look at these tables one by one. If you see here, we have one column called email ID. So all of us understood that the proper email ID will start with the name and also at the rate and the domain. It is gmail.com. So any variation from that is not correct. Now I want to validate whether the email ID in the source is properly populated in the target or not. How do I validate? First, let us start with the source. How am I doing it? I'm saying set all the records where email ID not regular expression means whichever is not following that. Please give me those records. That way it is empty set. Means to say that all the records have a proper gmail.com as the email ID. Let us do the same thing on the target table. The target table here is DWH customer underscore R. This is also no problem because all the records are populated properly. No issues of this Gmail. So let us look at the table where we have introduced errors. If you say this here, you can see we got multiple records where the email ID is not correct. It says Roger, instead of saying at the rate, it says two. Okay. And Sush at gmail.com is not there. Balakrishna gmail.co. Like this, there are so many errors here. This is not really correct. So this is how we validate the correctness of the data. This is one of the very, very simple example to validate the correctness of the data. Let me bring up the table again. So I'm selecting all the records from the customer source table. Here, if you observe, one of the column is rating. The rating column has a range of one to five. This is the source table, right? I don't know how the rating populated in the target table and how do we validate that? I'm checking in the source table. Give me all the records which are greater than five and less than one. So none of the records have a rating greater than five or less than one, which is correct range. Let us look at the same thing in the target table. Oh, look at the rating column here. We have seven, six and six. This is a defect, right? Ideally, the range for the rating is one to five. But in the target table, due to some mistake, out of the range, rating has been populated in this column. So this is wrong. This is how we validate the correctness of the range of values. 
we can also combine these two queries into one wonderful those are some of the hands on examples for data accuracy thank you mm -hmm.